low PABA. According to the nutritional symptoms you noted in your answers to our nutritional quiz, you may have symptoms of a PABA deficiency. To refresh your memory, here's the background information on PABA and following that are our recommendations to help you increase your PABA level. PABA, P-A-B-A, -A, stands for para-aminobenzoic acid and is a substance which acts much like a vitamin in the body. However, since it has not been proven to be essential to good health, it's not considered a true vitamin. Nevertheless, PABA does have certain important benefits, such as it's a powerful stimulant for tissue healing, especially sunburn. In a cream form, it's a very effective sun blocker, and it's important for maintaining healthy hair and skin. PABA and folic acid are very closely related in purpose, for PABA is actually a derivative of folic acid. PABA deficiencies are extremely rare, and PABA supplementation is not advised unless it's recommended by your doctor. Some people are either sensitive or allergic to PABA and should not take PABA supplements, but the amount in a multivitamin tablet should not cause an allergic reaction. You can also achieve most of the benefits of PABA from foods containing folic acid. Here are our PABA recommendations. PABA is found in eggs, liver, wheat germ, lecithin, molasses, peanuts, soybeans, brown rice, and whole grains. Folic acid and PABA are closely related, and you can get most of the benefits of PABA from foods containing folic acid. Folic acid is found in dark green leafy vegetables, carrots, apricots, cantaloupe, pumpkin, milk products, whole wheat, rye flour, dates, salmon, oysters, tuna, and organ meats. I recommend only organic organ meats. As a supplement, PABA is safe in the amounts con contained in most multivitamin mineral tablets or B-complex tablets. We don't recommend taking additional single-dose supplements of PABA. And that is the end of our PAPA recommendations.